Hello my dear students and viewers this is Manpreet and welcome to learn with me from home many students of science and zoology stream have been pressing and requesting me to start with science videos and series so the good news is that today i'm going to start with a biology session and why not from the basics so today's topic is animal cell and i am going to give a basic introduction to structure and function of animal cell and its organelles before i start don't forget to subscribe like and share my channel we all know that a cell is the smallest structural and functional unit of life of an organism it carries out all the processes of the body which includes producing energy its storage growth transportation reproduction and various metabolic reactions so let's begin with the structure and brief explanation of animal cell and its organelles a cell is composed of organelles and so what are they organelles means little organs they are parts of a cell which have special unique works to perform so the first component of animal cell is cell or plasma membrane we also call it cytoplasmic membrane or plasma lemma this membrane provides protection and a fixed environment inside the cell it has various functions like transportation of nutrients into the cell and to transport the toxins out and so it is a selectively permeable membrane cytoplasm is a jelly like fluid which is composed of salt and water it is a home to many metabolic activities of the cell as it contains molecules and enzymes it provides shape to the cell and thus enables all the organelles to remain in their position nucleus is the core of the eukaryotic cell and is bound by membranes and is enriched by a nuclear envelope the nuclear membrane distinguishes the cytoplasm from the contents of the nucleus nucleus is responsible for regulating almost all forms of cellular activities it controls the gene expression and mediates the replication of dna during cell cycle nucleolus it is a region located inside the nucleus and produces and assembles the cells ribosomes its primary function is synthesis of rna that is ribosomal rna or rrna and ribosome biogenesis next is mitochondrion it is also a membrane bound organelle found in the cytoplasm of almost all the eukaryotic cells its primary function is to produce large quantities of energy in the form of atp that is adenosine triphosphate since this organelle synthesizes energy rich compound atp it is also known as the powerhouse of the cell rough endoplasmic reticulum its main function is to produce proteins and is made up of cisternae tubules and vesicles the cisternae constitute of flattened membrane discs which help in the modification of proteins it is so called or it is called rough because it has ribosomes embedded on it which make those proteins next is smooth endoplasmic reticulum it is a meshwork of fine disc like tubular membrane vesicles which form a part of a continuous membrane organelle within the cytoplasm this helps in the synthesis and storage of lipids including phospholipids and cholesterol cells that secrete these products such as cells of testes ovaries and skin oil glands have an excess of smooth endoplasmic reticulum bound ribosome these are minute particles Uh, consisting of rna and proteins that function to synthesize proteins they are so called because they are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum 
and translate mRNA that is messenger RNA for proteins which are moved out of the cell. Free ribosomes. These ribosomes are located in the cytoplasm and are able to move throughout the cell. These synthesize proteins that are released in the cytoplasm and used within the cell. Next comes Golgi apparatus, also known as Golgi complex, Golgi body or simply the Golgi is a part of the endomembranous system in the cytoplasm and packages the proteins into membrane bound vesicles inside the cell before they are sent to their destinations. We can say that these are the major collection and dispatch centers of protein products. These are made up of series of compartments and are collections of membranous discs called as cysteine or dictyosomes. Next are Golgi vesicles. These are often called as traffic police of the cells. They play an important role in uh, sorting many of the cell proteins and directing them to their destinations. These are formed by budding from the Golgi bodies. Next are lysosomes and lysosomes are simple membrane bound cell organelles that are spheres made of lipid bilayer which encloses fluid that contains a variety of hydrolytic enzymes. Their function is to break down excess or worn out cell parts. These help in the digestion of macromolecules, cell membrane repairs and respond against foreign substances like bacteria, viruses and other antigens and these are also known as the suicidal bags of the cell. Centrioles. These are cylindrical organelles with nine microtubules composed of protein called tubulin. A bound pair of centrioles surrounded by a highly ordered mass of a dense material called PCM or pericentriolar material makes up centrosome. These are found near the nucleus and their main function is to produce cilia during interphase and the aster and spindle during the cell division. Microtubules These are polymers of tubulin and can grow as long as 50 micrometers and are highly dynamic. They are very important in a number of cellular processes. They maintain the structure of the cell and with micro and intermediate filaments. They form a cytoskeleton. They also make the internal structure of cilia and flagella. Pinocytotic vesicle. It is a structure that helps in the transportation as the cell membrane absorbs molecules from outside. The process takes place when the exterior membrane enfolds the molecule prior to transport into the cell's cytoplasm. So this was all about animal cell and its organelles in a nutshell. Hope you all could follow it. And for any doubts, queries or suggestions, please mail me at learnwithmefromhome at gmail.com and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Until we meet next. Stay safe and please take care of yourselves.